Have you ever felt manipulated or controlled in a relationship? Have you ever questioned your own memory or sanity? These are the unsettling questions that victims of a dark psychological phenomenon called gaslighting often grapple with. Gaslighting is a form of emotional abuse, a manipulative tactic often used by narcissists to gain power and control. It's a subtle yet destructive dance of deception where the abuser denies or distorts reality, making their victims second-guess their own experiences and perceptions. Imagine having someone constantly denying your reality, telling you things like, you never said that or I never did that. This is a common gaslighting tactic designed to make you question your own memory. Now picture someone minimizing your feelings, making you believe that you're overreacting or being overly sensitive. Sentences like, you're just being sensitive or you're overreacting are often used to invalidate your emotions, making you feel like you're the one in the wrong and what about shifting blame? Narcissists excel at this. They may say things like, it's your fault I got angry, or you're the one who's always starting arguments, diverting attention from their own inappropriate behavior and putting the onus on you. Twisting the truth and using hurtful language are also part of the gaslighting playbook. Narcissists may distort facts to make themselves look better or use derogatory words to belittle you, eroding your self-esteem bit by bit. Lastly, the withholding of affection or love is a cardinal sign of gaslighting. Narcissists might give you the silent treatment or refuse intimacy as a form of punishment, leaving you feeling unloved and rejected. The effects of gaslighting on a victim's mental health can be devastating. It breeds confusion, insecurity and self-doubt, leading to anxiety, depression and in severe cases, post-traumatic stress disorder. Gaslighting is a powerful tool in the narcissist's arsenal, but understanding it is the first step towards combating it. If you resonate with these signs, know that you're not alone and it's not your fault. Reach out for help, talk to someone you trust, and remember, you have the right to your own reality. So, what tactics might a narcissist employ to manipulate their victims? Let's delve into the narcissist's playbook to understand this better. First on the list is the art of denying reality. Narcissists can be masters of illusion, often denying events or conversations that don't fit their narrative. Imagine being told, you never said that, even when you vividly recall the conversation. Next, they may minimize their victim's feelings. Narcissists often dismiss the emotional responses of those around them, belittling their reactions as overblown or irrational. It's like hearing, you're just being sensitive, when you're genuinely hurt or upset. Then there's the classic tactic of blaming the victim. Narcissists are experts at shifting the blame for their own bad behavior onto their victims. It's as if they're saying, it's your fault I got angry, making you feel responsible for their uncontrolled emotions. Twisting the truth is another common strategy. Narcissists are known to distort facts and situations to their advantage often painting their victims in a negative light or making themselves the hero of the story. It's akin to hearing, you're the one who always cheats, when it's actually the other way around. And let's not forget the use of hurtful language. Narcissists might resort to name-calling or derogatory comments to belittle and demean their victims. It's like being called stupid, crazy or fat when you're anything but. Lastly, they may withhold affection or love as a form of punishment. Narcissists might give their victims the silent treatment or refuse physical intimacy to exert control. Imagine being met with a cold shoulder when you're seeking comfort or connection. Each of these tactics, whether used separately or in combination, is designed to manipulate and control. They aim to make the victim question their own reality and worth, fostering a sense of confusion and self-doubt. These are not signs of love or respect, but tools of emotional abuse. These tactics are designed to manipulate and control, to make the victim question their own reality and worth. But remember, if you recognize these behaviors in your relationship, you're not alone and there is help available. It's crucial to know that it's okay to reach out. You don't have to navigate this journey alone. Trusted friends and family members can provide an outside perspective and remind you of your worth when you're feeling low. Professional support is also invaluable. Therapists and counselors are trained to help you navigate complex emotions, and they can equip you with tools to manage and overcome the effects of gaslighting. 
they can help you understand that the distortion of reality you've been subjected to is not your fault. Taking care of your mental health is of utmost importance. Engaging in self-care practices, setting healthy boundaries, and seeking therapy can all contribute to healing. It's a process, but remember, you're stronger than you think. Remember, no one deserves to be manipulated or controlled. Reach out, seek help, and reclaim your reality.